to look at the script for me. I told him the movie is in mid-production and struggling for cash. When he's read the script, he wants to meet the producer. Hello, Jared Bruce, Bruce Lightman Productions. We have a room booked to screen some rushes. No, you're not down here. I must be. <laughs> I've only booked it for a few minutes. Maybe it's uh, under the name of the film, Ocean's 13. Ocean's 13? Yeah, you've not heard of it? No. OK, well, um, the Brad Pitt character... Rusty Ryan. Oh, were you a fan? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> OK, well, Rusty Ryan goes it alone. The whole film is just Brad. fan bloody -tastic. <laughs> Look, I, I know there must have been some sort of mix-up, but I've got a couple of producers arriving in a few minutes, and if you could let us use a room, I'd be very grateful. I, I could call Brad. Maybe you'd like to speak to him. Room two. OK. Can I use this one? Yeah. Here's what she said to me. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever will be, will be. The future's not as to see. Oh, God. Speak. Hi, Brad, it's Jared. Brad? Yeah, what's the weather like over there? Mickey, I know it's you. Get to the point, son. All right, I'm trying to pop me plants, all right? No, no. <laughs> Brad. I'll get it, all right. I've got to be Brad, yeah? It's just like that game where you put a sticker on me head and have to guess who I am. Is that it? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Listen, I've got a huge fan of yours here. Yeah, she absolutely loved you in Ocean's Eleven. Brad, Ocean's Eleven. Brad Pitt, maybe? Yeah, I know. Am I Brad Pitt, maybe? That's right. Yeah, so look, as a favour to me, would you mind uh, having a chat? No. Yeah. No, Mick, don't put her on. Vicky, don't. I can't do Brad Pitt. Sounds like Donald Duck. Hi, how you doing? Hi, how you Hello. doing? Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm fine. Oh, well, what's your name, baby? Alice. <laughs> Do you know my mother's name is, um... It's Jane Pitt, yeah. That's right. Jane, but she had a dog called Alice. Really? <laughs> I'm so happy to talk to you. I've got so many questions to ask. Y you got a lot of questions to ask me. Yeah. Gerard Bruce, please. Room two. I'm talking to Brad Pitt. <laughs> no. Brad, what are you like? <gasps> Brad. I'm wearing pink ones. OK, put the lights on. Gerard, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Corvinda Samar. Gerard Bruce. So, Harry, do we have a deal? Well, as I tried to explain to you on the phone, Bollywood is not exactly my area, but I have asked Mr. Samar to help advise me because he's something of an expert. There is very little I don't know about Bollywood, Mr. Bruce, so I hope you're not wasting my friend's time. <laughs> I never waste anyone's time, Mr. Samar. My films make money. And yet you have lost one of your investors. Yeah, well, I mentioned that one of the backers had dropped out mid-shoot. You know? It happens. <laughs> Harry, I really need you to come through for me on this one. Otherwise, I'm going to have to slash the budget, cut scenes from the third act, and lose two dance routines. No, no, no. A film is a thing of beauty, a story. You can't chop it up like it's a piece of chicken. An Indian film is almost spiritual. It must have a beginning, a middle, and an end, all as strong as each other. It must be perfect. Yes, but perfect costs money. 
Mr. Smart tells me unless you have established stars, Bollywood films very rarely make money. We are aiming this film at the Western market. No one will have any idea who these stars are. So, Mr. Bruce, who would you say is the Bloodshot of Bollywood? Well, for me, that would have to be Shah Rukh Khan. And female? I must confess a weakness for Aishwarya Rai. Ah, I see. We have very similar tastes. But this movie that you are shooting is based in London with a Western cast. Well, mostly, yes, but I, I, I think the key is to mix cultures. I liked the script. You liked the script? Is there anything you haven't told him? Well, as I said, it's not my area. <laughs> okay, okay, look. The deal with the other investor included a clause which stipulated that his daughter got a part in the film. Now, I could give you that. I don't have a daughter. Well, there are, I'm sure there are lots of willing young starlets out there. Harry? Might get you laid. Well, I don't think my wife would approve of me getting laid. <laughs> this part you have offered, has it been written? No, not yet. So it could be changed? I guess so. Why? I was an actor. And? And I'm a very wealthy man, Mr. Bruce. If Mr. Kaplan decided not to invest, perhaps I could consider it. Are you serious? Films are a great passion of mine. Clearly, this is more in your area than it is in mine, and I'd be happy to have you take it from here, if you want. I would appreciate your advice. Your experience in these matters is far greater than mine. <laughs> How much do you need? Well, we are 200,000 pounds light on a 1.6 million budget. I'm very particular about the way I do business, Mr. Brooks. I would need to visit your set, meet your star, and look at your accounts. No problem and I shall be in your film. <laughs> you see, Mr. Bruce, the art of doing the perfect business deal is to find a man with limited options. Have your account sent to me. Ash, find me a film set. Let's take this man's money. That's it. You stay here. Well, it's nice and warm, all right? Daddy will come and feed you. Yes, he will. And you can grow nice and big and flowery, yeah? And we can show those little pest takers that Daddy is not a complete idiot. Are you talking to yourself, Danny? No. Just talking to my seedlings. Well... If it's good enough for Prince Charles, I suppose. Exactly. You know, this is a whole new side of you I haven't seen before. I quite like it. What, uh... Have to get your kit off? <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you? Ignore her. She's got issues. He went for us giving him a part in the film, just like Albert said he would. So, we're on. OK, so I've doctored the production accounts and schedules for Miss Disease. Should do the trick. Great, great. So, what's he like? Well, he's got this air about him that everyone else is beneath him. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you know how many different roses there are? Go on, surprise us. Thousands. You can even make your own and you can name it yourself. Danny Blue Rose. I preferred it when he was bored. Wisteria can take up to seven years to flower. Really? It's actually a member of the pea family. Danny, Danny, we're in the middle of a con. Could you please focus? Yeah. So what's next, mate? Well, if he buys these accounts, he'll want to see a film set. Any joy? Yeah, uh, Rocky and the lads have just finished a Spanish prisoner scam. Um, and they know some guys on the market. The trouble is, I haven't got a camera or equipment. I have faith in you. Danny seems to have a lot of time on his hands. He can get the limo. What? Limousine. Danny, we have to do this properly. Hey, lads. Uh, didn't anyone tell you we were bright early for lunch today? No. Right. Since when? Since half hour ago. Catering's down the block. You know, I reckon he'll be lucky if there's anything left by now. Look at the boys they lost night. Cheers, mate. All right, they're getting moved on. We ain't taking an hour yet. Samara, good morning. 
Everything is ready? Yes, yes, the casting crew are expecting you, so shall we? 